Hi there, I'm Zalnith, and this is my Let's Play of West of Loathing. Now, I played Kingdom of Loathing way back in 2007, and I was an avid player. I played almost every day, so this game should be really fun for me. Why don't we just hop in then? Alright, let's go to new game, of course. Got a little shooting game here. That's... That can be a real time waster if you're bored. But we need to be wanted for protagonizing right now. So let's say her name is Twa. And her last name is Chula. Alright. Hmm. I had the strangest dream. I was choosing a character class. Hmm. Now based on my knowledge of Kingdom of Loathing. Cowpuncher seems like it would be the muscle one. Beanslinger, of course, is the magic. And Snake Oiler is the Moxie class. I always go with the Disco Bandit, so I'm going to choose that. Snake Oilers rely on their Moxie and Hootspah to tame snakes, their fearlessness to extract potent oils from those snakes, and their cleverness to manufacture and sell potions made from those oils. You've heard snake oilers are doing really well out west since the cows came home. Everybody needs potions and hope in these dark days, and also out west is where all the best snakes live. Come on, I want to be in the oiler. Let's go. Okay, we got a nice little room here. Little poster, W-S-A-D, to move around. We got a little poster to, <laughs> to remind you, I guess, how to move. Let's see, got a bookcase. A bird. Now, in these situations, it's best to check everything, so that's what I'm going to do. Goodbye, phonograph. Turn off. Mm, music's off. Put that back on. Let's talk to our bird. Apparently, he's named Russell. Hey, Russell, how are you doing? Caw! I'm going to miss you, buddy. Caw! 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 Mm. Is that a crow or a raven? Um, I'm guessing a crow, because I don't think ravens really caw. Let's give him a cricket. You grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos appreciatively and nuzzles your hand. Maybe it's time for you to leave too. You open your bedroom window, not pictured, and unlatch the door to Russell's cage. He winks at you, calls one last time, then flies away to the west. Well, that's a charismatic bird if I ever met one. I didn't even know birds could wink. So, I guess we'll follow him and hit the trail. After I search the room, what's in my desk? Comb hair. Nice experience. Although, I seem to be lacking in the hair. <laughs> So I don't really know what I combed. Bookcase. You read the spine of one of your books. Ada Swift and the Forbidden Church. I remember that one. What else do we have? Hero of Vulture Jungle. Clay Brown and the Mystery of the Old Outhouse. Gross. The Treasure of Vulture Graveyard. Matt Swift and the Curse of the Ancient Church. Pete Smith and the Incident at the Dark Hospital. Walking stupid, okay. What is that? This book tells the tale of a renegade sheriff who was really, really bad at walking stupid. Let's read it. You read the book from cover to cover and learn how to walk really stupidly. Stupid walking perk. Nice. You accidentally drop the book and they ruin it by stepping on it 30 times while you're trying to pick it up. Oops. Oopsie. Um, that's new. Okay, let's see what this stupid walking is all about. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure that constitutes as walking. Ooh, we got a little crab walk too. Oh. Why not Zoidberg, huh? Yeah, hike it. Okay, um, 
just gonna turn that off. I don't want everyone to think I'm stupid, so yeah. Hmm. Stack of firewood. Anything else we can do in this tiny little home? I mean, it's a nice home, but there's not much to do here. There's a table, a stove. I'm gonna miss mom's cooking. It's mom's pie safe. It keeps all her pies safe. Apparently, people in this house really like pies so much to the point that we need a safe. That's weird. Mm, I have a little brother. Mm. He has lots and lots of books, I see. Let's see. Pick up one of brother's weird books and flip through it. On the application to dynamics of a general mathematical method previously applied to optics. Mm, that's quite a tongue pull. <laughs> what a weird kid. Um... French book and German man he must be a genius my kid brother's toy box look inside Ooh, I got a Rubik's cube oh, sorry puzzle cube it's a puzzle cube no we do not know what that our cube is okay is that it Okay, let's go. My family's farm. That must be my mom. I'm leaving now, mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. I wonder what she got us. It's that book I wanted for Krimbo. I know it's early, but hmm. So I guess we have a choice here. Do we want the lock picking one, desperate survival, or the one about bartering? Um. I always love me some lock picking, so the one about picking locks, enjoy. Be careful out there, rise the other one, Ken. I will. Goodbye, Mom. Okay. My father. Let's see. Morsley jabs at the haystack. It's time for me to leave, Dad. His lip quivers a bit. Listen, I, I want you to have this. It's your grandmother's briefcase full of... Why did my grandmother have a briefcase full of snakes? Does she normally carry that around with her? That seemed like a pretty weird thing. Thank you. Good, good luck out there. Be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. Mm, that is quite a big hat. Let's see. Anything? Nope. Leave. Your brother Rufus is standing here looking nervous. He's pretty good at looking nervous. Here, you can have your R cube back. He starts fidgeting with it. Hey Rufus, time for me to head rest. I still don't understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going? Must anyway. Do we want to help people seek my fortune or to get off this stupid farm? Seek my fortune, little brother. Destiny is out west and it's calling me. But so dangerous. 60% of the people who go west get killed within a year and there's a statistics before the cows came home. I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. Take care of mom and dad. Okay, if you still say so. You'll be dead before Crimbo. Thanks, brother. You're so... caring. And you know exactly what to say. Punch you in the arm and leave. Anything else around here before I hit the trail? No time to screw around the woods, time to head west. And of course, west is to the left, just like in real life. It's a haystack. Dig through. Guess it's not hard to find a needle in a haystack. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it for this area. So, we're just gonna go west. Go west, young man! Yes! So... I learned about this game from other people. And... Here we are. Heading out west to seek my fame and fortune. With my grandma's case full of snakes. I still don't know what she was doing with that. 
What am I doing? What am I? Some kind of vegetable cart. Turnips. Radishes. Something like that. That horse looks awful funny. He's got janky legs. That guy has a nice pop o'clock shadow going on. Hmm. 200 miles later. Where are we? Whew. That was the quickest 200 miles ever. Oh, we're going to dirt water. Or not. Okay. I guess we can go here instead. Well, the bad news is that you fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple hours, and now you've got no ride, no meat, and no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. Get up and dust ourselves off. That's the best we can do. Town of Boring Springs. Whew, hello, guy. Ow. Hey, buddy, you seen my uh, horse anywhere around here? Nope, sorry, I just got into town. Now, I guess this fell off the tur- Ooh, a turnip. You got a dusty turnip. I've got a great big turnip, my lord! Let's see what this town has to offer. Ooh. Is that- Ugh. Okay, I'm not stepping on that. The Sheriff. The Sheriff. Wow. Let's go visit the Sheriff. He's got a dirty mug. Howdy, stranger. Welcome to Borland Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. The what? The sheriff, okay? Blasted sign painters. So you wouldn't happen to be looking for work now, would you? As a matter of fact, I am. Great, because I happen to have some. There's a gang of hootlums around here what call themselves the Frecker Gang. Last time I arrested one of them, they busted him out and took my cell door with him. It ain't, uh, well, it ain't much good without a door. And and I need someone smart, tough, and or slick enough to go get it back for me. Well, I guess I'll give it a shot. Funny you should say that, because I'm sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. He takes the pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. You got a deputy pistol. <laughs> deputy? <laughs> they deputized you. You're new in town, maybe ain't noticed, but there's ain't much to do here except drink. Here, let me write down where the Fricker Gang's hideout is for you. Fricker Gang hideout. Got it. I'll be back with your door, sir, Sheriff. So, we got our first quest. Um, before we go, let me just see if there's anything else. There are cactuses. There's a rock. Piece of broken fence. Alright. The guy from the horsery has gone drinking, so we can't explore there. Crap. The <laughs> Literally. Sorry. Excuse my language. It's always best to go into bars. Get the local information. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey, Dagnabbit, where's your hat? Well, I... You can't drink here without a hat. Ain't proper. He tip, he points to a take-a-hat-leave-a-hat box next to the door. Well, I need a drink, so I guess we have to wear a hat. You look through the hat box and find a battered derby. That looks like something you'd wear. Let's grab it. A floppy derby. Thanks, sir. Pete! Thanks, Pete. He gives you a friendly, if what, somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller. Yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Well, er... Uh, no pressure. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Holy crud, his eyes really are crazy. <sighs> okay. Yo, barkeep. I'll... Oh. Guess he lost his mugs. We'll keep an eye out for those. Let me keep waiting. He finally notices me. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Twa. What brings you to our little backwater? I'm here for work. I came out west to make my fortune. I'm not having much luck. Are there any work around these parts? 
Unfortunately, Boring Springs has already more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. So great, we get to do fetch quests and all that, I guess. Let's ask what work. You mentioned errands? Yes, this forsaken burg is always falling apart in one way or another. The Hoth was always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no-account sheriff could certainly stand to have someone doing his job for him. Well, we already talked to the sheriff. Haven't met the hostler yet, so is there anything else? Well, I've got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cowpoke in from the gulch didn't wipe his boots off and got spores everywhere. I can probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll be needing this. A weak fungicide. No problem. I'll take care of that goblin for you. Hmm. Okay. I guess this is the basement. I guess that's our goblin. But I'm more impressed right now by these shadows. Look. They actually follow the light. That's amazing. Oh no. He's trying to steal the whiskey. Let's just steal it first. <laughs> now he can't drink. Yo, goblin. You can't steal our whiskey. You'll have to die for it. Ooh. Ain't this neat. Okay, how do we want to do this? We can attack him with the deputy pistol. Smack him with that board we found. Deal poison. Summon a snake. Surrender. Or we have this item. The fungicide. Won't end my turn. 25 damage to the target, assuming it's a goblin. Target is a goblin. 25 hit points, deals 25 damage. I think we found our weapon, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crud, that was too easy. Yeehaw, skill level up, moxie level 2. I'm gonna head back upstairs. Well, for a first battle, that was pretty okay, I guess. He didn't even have to do much. I hope all the battles aren't like that. I took care of that goblin, sir. Thank you kindly. That's why I knew you were a stand-up fella the moment you walked in here. He went under the bar and grabbed a bag of meat. Here you go. It's the least you can do, by the way, of thanks. 200 meat. Tip my hat. Who's this fella in the bar next to me? Ask him myself, he won't bite me. Now I'm gonna leave. Howdy, I'm Twa. Howdy, Twa. I'm Horace. Nice to meet you. What are you doing? I'm the town hostler. <laughs> How's that working out for you? Oh, these horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Uh oh. <laughs> is that why you're drinking here? Uh, yep. And me being in here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. I need a horse. Do you have any? Boring horse. Alright. So we just killed a goblin. And I guess we're going to have to go find his horses. Let's see. Can you sell me a horse? Um, let me think about it. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end it here. We'll continue later. Be sure to like it if you liked it. Cactus Man. Or do whatever. Just don't end up like that guy. Alright, have fun, see you later.